Now, I'm not so sure how many people know this, but the Bloomberg administration's been operating Cash for Good Behavior program in the Bronx for a few years now. Now, the program, it pays poor families for things like going to the doctor, high school students paid for good grades, adults paid for working 30 hours a week. Now, new reports out, and it finds, well, mixed results. There was no discernible effect on attendance or test scores for elementary and middle schoolers, but it did appear to improve both graduation rates for students who were already proficient in reading. About three quarters of students who were ninth graders when the program started graduated on time, and that's compared to about two thirds in the control group. There was no increase in the use of preventative medical care, but there was a big increase when it came to dental care. And the program appeared to help parents increase savings and reduce reliance on families and friends when it came to cash loans. Dominic, you're familiar with this program. Good yeah, or bad right. idea? I think it's an excellent idea. I can understand why critics would almost want to throw up at the mere thought of a program like this where you have to pay someone to do the right thing. But I am telling you, as someone who grew up in the projects, things are so bad out there. And some communities and some of these families, this is what's required if we're ever going to have a shot at breaking the cycle of dependency. Ever. We're not talking about a lot of money, right? We're not talking. No, it's not I made like money. 50 bucks. I, uh, I was getting to a joke about you going to school in the Bronx. Beat you to it. Yes, I you beat did. Beat you to it. I'm that much quicker. Hey, be careful with those jokes about schools in the Bronx. <laughs> yeah, you, you, Bronx you, you guys. Guys. Like so This is fascinating. <laughs> I, I must say, I, I'm actually. Tr I, I am one. You said at the, at the top here. A lot of people aren't familiar with this. I claim ignorance. I didn't know this, and so I'm literally going at face value. Uh, you know what? Face value. I'm kind of torn. It's a little condescending and a little you know, overly lefty kind of will pay you and show up and you'll get. And on the other hand, it's like, hey, if people can uh, do the right thing and be compensated for it and it, and it instills a good, good behaviors, good. I mean, so you, you lost me on overly lefty because we we incentivize financially behavior all the time. Oh, you we, leftists? We write it into the tax code all the time that, that we we give tax breaks to married yes. couples yes. that yes. we don't give to True. single people. True. We're incentivizing marriage. We yes. incentivize having kids. We incentivize companies to behave in certain ways by offering them tax breaks. Unfortunately, right now one of those behaviors is moving your jobs overseas. We incentivize that with tax dollars. Yes. So we incentivize behavior all the time. I understand why somebody might be a little queasy about the idea of trying to incentivize good grades or attendance or, or health care. Then again, those are things. If you're going to spend money, why not spend it on good grades I and health care? I had no and... idea this was happening. I remember hearing something about Philadelphia having like just purely good grade money. I yeah. heard about that. And, mm, but Dom, um, do you think it'd be more successful if more people knew about it, or the only people taking advantage of the people that are close enough to being motivated to do it when some people just don't care. Well, believe me, the people that this affects, they know about these programs. It has reached the point, Richard, where a dollar is more important than almost anything else in many of these communities. And if it means it has to be used as an incentive to do the right thing, then so mm -hmm. be it. Wait, wait, you know, uh, genuinely, because I, society I is, is going to pay. Or, you said it, a Bloomberg No, program? Bloomberg a city. was private raised money. Bl Privately, okay. We're going to pay one way or the other. Yeah. Taxpayers are going to pay one way or the other. And, I, and as Dominic said, that's my point. One way or the other, we've got to pay. Rather to do it on the front end than the mm -hmm. back end. All right, we wrap things up when we return. Stay with us.